Hey Royalties, welcome back everyone. Today we've got an emotional and inspiring story for y'all. We're diving into Corey Hadrick's recent revelation about his emotional journey following his divorce from Tia Mori. Before we get right into all of the details, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the Challenge Girl Royalty, back with another celebrity relationship gist. To our returning subscribers, you guys are the re-MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and please do like this video it does help our channel thank you so as we close out national men's health month Corey's candidness is a powerful reminder of the emotional battles men face in silence after 14 years of marriage Corey and the sister sister actor tia parted ways in october 2022 due to irreconcilable differences their divorce was finalized in April 2023, marking a new chapter for both of them. The couple shares two children together, Cree and Cairo. Earlier this month at the American Black Film Festival, Corey opened up about his heart wrenching journey post divorce. Corey Hadrid, who recently starred in Tyler Perry's new movie, Divorce in the Black, which coincidentally also featured actress Megan Good, who also had a divorce history. So coming from his new character, Corey kind of opened up about his personal experience at the American Black Film Festival. Dressed sharply in a burnt orange suit, Corey shared a raw, honest account of his struggles on stage. Captured by Hollywood Melanin, he said, it's tough when it feels like you're alone and no one understands, he admitted. Corey revealed it took him a year and a half of crying himself to sleep to find his inner strength. Family and kids have, have always been his cornerstone, making his pain all more profound. Yet through this hardship, he discovered a resilience he didn't know he had. By the grace of God, I'm here and I'm still going, he said with conviction. Guys, let's hear Corey Hadrick say it firsthand. Video credit from Hollywood Melody. Because, you know, it's, it's tough when it feels like you're going through something you know, you know, uh, no one's there for you, and it's just like, you know, it's just like, you know, he's, you know, he's tough, he's strong, but you know, you know, it was about like a year and a half, I'm proud of myself, I'm like, nobody see that, nobody see that, you know, but if I don't have to spray for my babies, you know, because people who are going to go to the know that this kid is a so it's like, I'm stronger than I know. I'm stronger than that. By the grace of God, by the grace of God, it's like, I'm here and I'm still going. Guys, Corey Hadrick speaking up about his truth and being so vulnerable out there on stage is not an easy thing for a man to do. And most times the backlash that comes from men being vulnerable does not allow them to be more open to speak about their feelings. And every time women want men to be more open, to be vulnerable, to air their feelings. But the backlash that oftentimes comes with things like this make men withdraw. And we will see that in some of the comments from the public. But then again i appreciate him sharing his side his perspective his point of view about how he dealt with the divorce i mean women speak about how they are dealing with healing post-divorce all the time and they embrace and so why can't men it is his point of view and it's not for anybody to say oh it is not true oh save you right people go through divorce every day and sometimes they realize their fault or maybe they now value what they have after when they lose it but then again they are free to experience the post effects of divorce in their own way and they are also free to tell it out so that other people can learn and cherish what they have at the moment on the flip side Tia Mori offered her perspective on their split speaking to hello beautiful in june of 2023 she revealed she had contemplated the divorce for about five years therapy and reflecting on family losses helped her realize that seeking her peace was crucial for herself and for Cree and Cairo. She emphasized the importance of living her truth, even if the decision was one of the hardest she's ever made. 
As much as we would not like to admit, sadly but true, not everyone will be able to come back from a divorce. Not everyone will be able to reconcile, even though that would be really great. Some people, they actually need to step aside to get themselves together because the problem may not necessarily be their partner. Like what Smith would say about Jada, that he cannot do Jada's loving for Jada. Jada got to learn to love herself so she can receive love from others. And so in that kind of a situation, sometimes stepping out help them to realize that the problem may not necessarily be the other person but something internally that they have to deal with hopefully they come back together that will be great for the children and if they do they might be better people after learning from the effects of divorce and maybe also learning more about themselves and even if they do not come back they would still be better people learning from their marriage and their divorce but i'm hoping that a lot of people out there will be more enduring with perseverance and patience because just like the bible says love is patient love is kind these days a lot of people do not want to be patient they don't want to be kind patient does not mean oh we've done two therapy is not working you've got to be patient you know as long as it's within tolerable situations and not something that is really intolerable well after Corey said all that he said about his journey here is some of the reaction from the public this person said that's usually how it goes when a woman is the one who ends the relationship nine over ten when a woman ends the relationship she's been done and has processed the loss most men feel it after we leave and this brother says i get a little nervous when shade room shows a grown man being vulnerable this page can be brutal respect to him for opening up about it and 8769 people liked this comment this answer says you cried because you didn't think she would ever leave and another user say let's shed love and light and appreciate men opening up and being vulnerable as much as we all know that a divorce does not happen over nine yes maybe some things could have been done but really we are not in their relationship and we did not know what who did what to try to make it work and still it did not work so it's okay for him to share his experience just as women do every day uh, you guys what do you think about Corey and tia's journey how important is it to prioritize emotional health and personal growth even when it means making tough decisions also about Corey speaking up really for the first time about his journey post divorce you guys share your thoughts in the comment section y'all know i love to hear your thoughts and opinion and as always thank you so much guys for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay bye bye